Hi right, guys, so in today's video, we're going to go straight into whatever we can find. Starting on the homepage, we've got an orb, and what happens here, it's automatically given um, after a specific amount of time. So press collect on that. How you know the time is when you go to the homepage, at the bottom it says 2 hours and 56 minutes. So we know we're going to get one orb. That's given for free. This happens daily. It depends on the time from a certain amount of time. Um, from the last orb um, and it goes up to two max on the home screen if you don't go higher if you don't collect your orbs I mean what happens is your uh, orbs get stuck on the home page at two so just keep replenishing them by opening them okay we've just done a wall and these are the credits that we got uh, I'll go into this one in a second for elite wall credits okay we claim that Okay, so in the supply store, we're going to go to Eternal Spirit. Um, this is only open for five days and three hours at the at this moment. So scrolling down, let's see what we can get. It's not really something that's too good in my opinion. Probably only this one I might want. Because I've got a lot of bio characters and I'm just going to go for that. Uh, I've mentioned previously that the Eternal Spirit's credits is on the top right. It's the same for every single war type store, war store, supply store, blitz store, raid store, and so on. The credit currency is always on the top right of the screen, right next to that home page right there. Um, scrolling through, we're going to see what items I'd like to purchase for this one. I'm going to go for this top right one here because I'm trying to make sure that my Doctor Doom, and to be honest, Silver Surfer, to be honest, all of them really, um, want to get them as high as I can. So, yeah, purchase that. Double check because that's the superior version. Yeah, but I don't need any for those. I'm not really too keen on them for now. Yep, scrolling through. Um, I can get Red Guardian for 450 credits, but because it's not really a character I'm going to use, I'm not too fussed if I don't get him. Just be wise with how you purchase your um, power, purchase with your power cores because they're, they're not hard to come by, but they're not exactly that easy to. Okay, just going to scroll down. We're gonna open up Mega Orb some other time, not feeling it. Um, but Milestone 2 Orb, I'll open that when I go to Milestones here. I wanna see how much I've spent on High Roller. So 1.3 million. So we've got another million to spend. Forgot to roster. Let's see who needs to level up. Let's scroll through. Mm, do, 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 do. Okay. Scrolling through, nothing, no one really stands out too much for a big level up, which might be okay because I'm coming towards like max levels on quite a few hand, handful characters. Um, for now, I can. Okay, we've done Silver Surfer. We can do. Okay, my Symbiote team is maxed, so that's good. I could probably do Black Order actually because they're a strong team. Um, so what I'll do is um, actually, do you know what? What am I doing? Minerva, she needs to level up, hundred percent. Okay, we got some space on High Roller. We came up on the bottom. Minerva's a great character. Okay, going to Milestones, High Roller. Okay, claim all of those. So we got just about hundred thousand. Before we get into the next milestone, I'm going to go scroll down, go to Color Obsidian, see how much one level costs. Actually, do you know what? In fact, I need to show you something. I was thinking about this earlier today. I'm thinking of getting my um, Captain Marvel slightly stronger. Now, if you go to your profile, you can see. On here, my strongest team is 873,000. If I go strongest team, currently ranked 25,800 something in the world. If I just press find me, so 25,892. Now, notice there's a few people similar power levels, and what I'm going to do, knowing that my Captain Marvel is my strongest, if I press that plus sign, and no one else needs it here um, plus it's a character that I know that even if I did use it on her I wouldn't regret so I'm just gonna press craft 
my crypt. She's now gone up. So if I go back to my home page, go to my user profile, that goes up. So 874. I don't think it um, updates that quick. But I'm 874,000 power now. Uh, this normally, I think, updates every other hour. So it's quite, it's not live, but it's quite close to it. Okay, daily objectives. We can see this uh, campaign energy is going to expire within an hour. So we claim that. Go to um, your roster. Just going to go to Mystique. Where's she gone? Because she's a character that uses the controller type of ISO 8. So we just have to quickly max these out. And then finally for character shards, we're going to go straight to the top and okay, I've done my Spider-Man for the day, I'm sure. Okay, oh, there's an offer going on. I'll talk to you about that in a bit. What else can we do? Who, who else? No, we've done that one earlier. Okay, so don't forget, I'm trying to build up a team ready for um, events. So I'm going to keep that in the back of your mind, like Keep that in the back of your mind. Um, like I'm getting Stature, the Pym Tech team, try, trying to level them up to 300 max so that I can get their Jubilee 7 star ace up. Because Yellow Jacket, I'm trying to get to 7 star too. Right? Okay. Let's go to the milestones, click these, claim that. And currently the Blitz is for uh, Nightiness. Not really too fussed, I'm just doing these little silly ones. Um, just got a random strong team, just wanted to try with that. Um, because I can claim this anytime easily, and I'm not going to really go strong on her. I've already got her maxed out everything, as much as I can. Um, and then finally, for now, where are we? If I just go to offers, scroll down, there's an offer going on for a spider sorry, symbiote team. And you can see on the screen, uh, it will cost, well, UK currency uh, of £45.99. Um, and you can see all the ones on on, um, on the screen. You can see Spider-Man Symbiote. I can get him to max because I only need 170. But in this, it gives 180. I've got the rest maxed out except for Anti-Venom. But for me, I wouldn't buy that. But if someone's like new to, uh, new to the game and they got a bit of money they want to spend again it's your choice your money but that would be a decent offer because they're a very strong team but price wise is a bit much up in my opinion and then you've got quite a few um spider verse type of characters you can see the symbiotes uh, again so yeah it's to do with the spider-man movie coming out soon so don't forget these things occur in the game at the same time all right and scrolling through, nothing is interesting of me, to, to me there. I'm going to go straight down to the orbs in the supply store, in the main one. And I claim all milestone to orbs. Let's go. Come on. Mm, it's not too bad. Not too good either, but that's what it is. Okay. Just always keep on top of your your stores because they do change every eight hours. And yep, yeah, finally, nothing that uh, appeals to me except for actually this one. Yeah, not too far now. We only need 43 more. And there we go. That's not too bad. Okay, with this elite store, don't forget these promotion credits. The gold is for six and seven star characters. And you can see for the silver one, it's for any character from levels, well, one, as in seven, one star. All the way up to five dark promotion credits are for basically your dark dimension characters which is the ultron and ultimus it might be for doctor doom eventually but i have to complete uh, my second uh, attack in dark dimension which was which will be my time run currently working on it i've uploaded a few videos already but i'm currently on mission nine i'm going to do that and get these videos ready very soon so just be on the lookout for that and for now, I'm just going to go to Alliance Raids. And we've got 21,200 key raids for the Gamma Raid. And you can see here it's purple. And you can see that one is green. That represents green. That represents purple. So for the purple one, we're going to 
just go for the max one and um, when you have an alliance um, you have uh, in the alliance let me just show you guys alliance members you have uh, let's just sort it out by I don't know last active so I just logged in the last uh, the last out of my alliance we got 20 out of 24 members um, it says there's leader which is myself there's members and then there's captains um, and you can see who's a member who's a captain um, and when it comes to it uh, members they they help out obviously they're part of the alliance but when it comes to captains like Kenshu, Carnage 87 and so on you can see on the screen Raiden shout out to you as well shout out to all of the Batman Begins Alliance represent what happens is captains get to launch raids they get to um, guide on Alliance War um, when it comes to launch these raids leader can do it too so you go to the uh, Gamma Raid one in this case because we've got purple um, we're going to go for the max one because you want to get the best results you can change the difficulty fortunately we're only on this one at the moment but if we launch it, notice that 21,200 will now reduce because it costs 14,400. Okay, didn't, didn't do it, but it has gone down. There you go. Okay, so press preview and you you can look up what's available, but all rooms are the same. Um, but where you position yourself in the Gamma Raid depends on the kind of characters you can bring in. So as you can see on the screen, only the orange ones you can attack. It says Avengers or spider Verse. in this case. The central part is Amor Shield. And then finally on the right hand side, Avengers or spider Verse or Guardians, depending on the line you choose. I want to go for Avengers and spider Verse. The reason is it gives more overall power to points, sorry. So if I click this one, it's 430,000. If I click that one, 514. So watch this. I'm going to launch this one. I'm going to go for uh, actually I'll go for this team the symbiotes so <clears throat> when it comes to when it comes to the fight itself after I win it um, that point will be reflected onto my my leaderboard so it's always best to go for the highest points uh, for obvious reasons you want to be number one but that's just how it goes so let's just beat this team up not this how I attack I don't attack random positions I attack with adjacent characters nearby, especially with, um, well, to be honest, it's all players in the team, really. But I do aim for one at a time. And luckily, my teams have improved in their power and are managing these raids a lot easier. But again, this is an easy raid. So take that into account. So instead of me just attacking uh, Scarlet Witch on the right hand side, Spider Man in the middle, and then Hulk on the left side. If I use this attack, for example, corruption, it goes to all three. Two are gone, one one is damaged. If I did it just on the right hand side or the left, I wouldn't have got the other side. So position your attacks, line it up correctly, and try to do it as fast as you can. The faster you do it, it gets out the way you get to spend more time in your life and have fun. And you also get to clear the level. Okay, so the video just cut off, so I just have to amend that. So it just blanked off. Unfortunately, I lost ten raids, uh, raid keys in that in that little glitch. Um, unfortunately, I only got one attack, and the last one is you can see my character's halfway through that line. If it was on the node itself, you'll see after I complete this one, it should be fully on the node. But this shows it as I attempted an attack, which clearly I didn't because there's no proof. Plus is very easy. So with that first one, I got 519,350 points. If I go back to the leaderboard, that's exactly what that means. Right. So I lost 10 raid keys. Can't do anything about it. Got to cry my own time again. That's okay. It's all good. Now I'm going to do the next attack. And those points are accumulative. So whatever you beat, um, they all add up. So the one with the highest points at the end, that, that's literally the winner so yeah let's do this okay so now you can see with this one um it attacks adjacent characters so again if i was to do captain america on this side i lose out characters on this way um if i do ant-man at least there's three or four characters that i can get rid of there you go all four 
straightforward. And don't forget with the stronger team, you normally get more benefits. Um, and I'm just going to use a big attack. When I say more benefits, uh, the, the advantage is you get to have the symbiosis within the characters, within the team. And when I say symbi symbiosis, I'll show you in the next one. So this is the last one. Whenever there's a face, it always means there's a boss character, as you can see there. So yeah, like I said, I completed that node. It's not halfway through the line. It's full on the node. Right, if I was to click that one, watch this. I press launch. Okay, now before I press start, those greens represent the health. So it's full health in this case, because it's full and on the green, high health. If it was yellow, it means medium. So you're like running a bit low. When it's on red, it means be careful, like try to use someone else if you can. Um, but there's an option here called heal. But as you can see here, it's grayed out. It's because my team's full health. And it's good to have a team where healing abilities are applicable. If I go back to Venom, just um, actually not that's the point. So you can see these numbers here, 5, 5, 3, and 5. In case you're wondering what that means. Now, this team, if I add Gamora, for example, she has abilities, but she's not part of this team. There's nothing that stops you from using the character. Oh, God, just in the timer. Let me just go back. Oh, yeah, there's a... The timer, so be careful you don't over uh, go over it as in here. All right, if I um, put, for example, um, I don't know, Thor, these numbers don't change. It's not that it doesn't, it just that it just means that this character, in this case, Thor, doesn't give these guys abilities. Now, if I put Venom in, it gives all these abilities, and as you can see, it flash, watch roughly in the center. It will say symbiotes roughly in the center. There you go. So what that does is it makes the team stronger. So if, for example, I don't know, let's just one more time because the timer is about to run out. Okay, it automatically does your top five. So just in case you're wondering, how does it already select? So if I was to do, I don't know, random team, Black Panther, Hulk, um, Spider-Man and Green Goblin and who else? Rhino. You can see there's no high numbers and that does make a difference in your team. I can still win with this team because I've still built up my team very well. I've spread it out as much as I can. But with the symbiotes, you can't go wrong. Um, so if I just go to my roster select the symbiotes one um i'll go back one more time because i need to make sure with the timer go back to launch okay my symbiote team is there now if i click any one of those numbers like for example that six over here you can see which character gives what ability and how much by and when you do that you've got to take into account on the home page go to roster Go to, for example, a symbiote. These abilities here need to be maxed out. The higher they are, the better your team is. And they do impact each other. For example, I can think of one off the top of my head. Um, let's go Carnage. If I go to the bottom one, it says here. Um, blah, 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 blah. Helps for symbiotes. So that's the kind of stuff that you've got to look out for. So yeah, for the next two or three attacks... I'm just going to go straight there and you can see the points. It's gone higher now. It's almost a million points. Now go to the boss one. Go for this symbiotes team. We'll now smash them up. So that's that's the one for the symbiote team. Um, like I said, I'm going to do the mini series very soon of um, each team in as much detail as I can. I'll cover everything. Um, and if anything is missed out, just let me know in the comments below. And then I'll cover those items. For now, I'll just teach you what I can. Okay, again, just spread out your attacks. And also, take into account, don't just randomly attack. Think about your positioning. Think about your team. Think about the health. All that kind of stuff. Okay, now, for example, I don't need to attack Hawk Eye Because he's got the bleed, so I'm going to try it with War Machine. 
because if I can beat the rest of the team in time, there's no point. Hawkeye's going to bleed anyway. So yeah, back to Mordor. Okay, in this case, I can get rid of him. Okay, I'm going to attack on the side. There you go. <clears throat> yep, almost there. And on the top left, you can see how many players are remaining. So you've got four more. Obviously, there's three at the moment. Then we're going to get to the end very soon. Let them bleed. Let's go for this guy. Hand Archer or something. Yeah, and then Hawkeye is going to go for the big attack. Done. <clears throat> so yeah, that's how you do these wins. You just keep doing this. And again, you get points in relation to it. So in this one, you get raid credits. You'll get some premium orb fragments and then some money for it. Okay. And in doing so, on the homepage, you go to daily objectives. Now I've done two raids. I've done four in total of the day. Okay, in this case, I've got a strike pass. And yep, yeah, we've got some milestones for that. Playing these. Go to your inbox. Okay, that's what it's just saying for a video for that. No problem. And yeah, also, um, just bear in mind with with the Spider-Man um, movie coming out, you just need to have in the back of your mind that these characters are going to come out. Um, I'm sure there's a new character for Spider... I don't know if it's Spider-Gwen or Spider-Ghost, but it's been named one or the other. But in the movies, I'm sure it's Spider-Gwen. So they're bringing in the characters from the multiverse. And again, with Spider-Man and whatnot, um, you might want to level that character up soon. At the moment, he's not that good. Um, as well as the Spider-Man Morales. But they're working on it, so just take that into account. I wouldn't go all out for them, but the red star orbs are going to come out soon. So, yeah. So, again, look at my positioning. Just keep an eye on how I attack. Spread it out. Big attack there. That's it. Now I can get strength up with that. And watch this. Spread that attack. Notice his thousand goes up for every time I win. And this is where Black Panther, in my opinion, is very useful. Look how fast it, fast it is. Constant always win. And he gets plus thousand because of his abilities. So it does go up in increments. And I'll finish off with Black Panther for now. I'll show you on the roster. Go further down. He's one of my strongest characters. There you go. And if I go to Defender of Wakanda, what happens is on the left, you can see all these ticks, and you can see it says on kill speed bar fills about 20%, 20%, plus 20%, and again. So one, two, three, four, plus the first one, that's five. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100%. And that's literally how it works. So little things like that, take those things into account. Combine a bit of your own intuition and skills. And that's how you do it. Oh yeah, over and out.